New at noon, Cincinnati police released details about their plans to stop the recent spike in gun violence. There have been 20 homicides in the last six weeks, and that's not to mention the shootings where the victims survived. Nottingham Science Ali Kramer just spoke with Chief Elliot Isaac about the new measures and what differences the public will see right now. The biggest difference is police visibility. More patrol cars on the streets and more officers hitting the pavement in neighborhoods that are plagued by crime. The recent surge in violence is senseless and the blatant disregard for human life cannot be tolerated in our city. Strong words from Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot Isaac. The impact that gun violence has and the devastation that it causes to the families of the victims and to our city must cease. He is noticeably angry that his city, his neighborhoods, his people are riddled with shootings and murders. 33 shooting related homicides this year, 20 of those in just the last six weeks. Just six arrests in those most recent 20 homicides, but police say they oftentimes know who is pulling the trigger and these new teams are targeting repeat offenders. We are also implementing an additional effort from our fugitive apprehension team and our ATF task force officers that will combine in an effort to focus on individuals in our hotspot areas that we know and believe are responsible for some of this violent crime. Hot spots, including all areas of Price Hill, over the Rhine and the West End. But looking at this map, the shootings are widespread, making it difficult to truly pinpoint a hot spot and the variety keeps homicide detectives running. Yeah, they're tired, but they're dedicated, they're committed, and we'll continue to provide them the best support that we can. Reporting downtown, Allie Kramer, 9 on your side.